Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. Well, the Xbox One X launches in just a little over a week. We are now starting to see some unboxings and developers are also speaking highly on the hardware. I've read interviews with developers saying things such as the Xbox One X GPU being comparable to a GTX 1070 or that the console performs like a high-end PC. This does not sit well with PC enthusiasts and reignited the debate on which is better. First thing I want to say is that the Xbox One X is not going to beat a high-end PC. However, it is comparable in many ways. We are getting native 4K high settings and 4K textures. Even some games such as Forza and Gears of War are pulling off 60 frames per second along with 4K and PC max settings. But let's be honest, although the PC cannot perform the Xbox One X, it does it at a much higher price. Lately, as the debate rages on Twitter, I see you guys trying hard to build the equivalent for $500. They leave out the Windows OS or cases or whatever they can trying to compare the price to the Xbox One X. One user put a GTX 1060 in his build, which we know is a less capable GPU with far less bandwidth. And they all leave out the 4K HDR Blu-ray player as it adds way too much to the cost. Now I've said this many times, you cannot build the equivalent on PC as the Xbox One X GPU is custom and also more powerful than an RX 580. Now PCWorld.com ran an article this summer and they could not match the price or the exact build. This Wednesday, November 1st, they will build it live on their channel. Now they recently did a video listing the parts that they will use and spoiler, it costs more than $500. Actually, it was $700 and they couldn't even add the 4K HDR Blu-ray player as a new motherboard was needed and it brought the price up too much. Now they are a top PC site and are trying to build a one-to-one -one comparison of the Xbox One X. Now I'm just gonna play a few audio clips from PC World's video on their upcoming Xbox One X PC build and I will leave it in the link in the description down below so you guys can listen to it for yourself in its entirety. Hey everybody, we're back with another PC World build. I'm Elena Yi. I'm Adam Patrick Murray. And this time we are going to be doing a replica or as close as possible to the Xbox One X. Can you really make an Xbox One X as powerful as the Xbox One X is for that price? Uh, the end of word? $500? No. <laughs> no. But we're going to try? We're going to try. Okay, so I'm basing this off an article that I wrote back in June. It's a great article. Right during E3 that basically went through the whole thing as a thought exercise. Like, hey, can you actually build the equivalent, PC equivalent of an Xbox One X that plays games at 4K? And people loved and it. People loved the article. They well, weren't angry at all, right? Uh, <laughs> depends on which side of the camp you're on. Uh, I had mostly positive comments on it, <laughs> but uh, it was a good article. The interesting thing about it is that at the time, um, Ryzen three didn't exist, and now it does. And the so. Bitcoin miners, or and the, uh, the Bitcoin miners. Well, it was uh, already a thing then. Was it? Oh, yeah, okay. it was already a thing then. So what we're going to do in this video is go over the parts that we're going to use in that build. Uh, I believe our live build is going to be November 1st yes. at 10 a.m. Pacific, so you can join us then. On, as on you PC see World's me, YouTube and Facebook. Yes, as you see me fumble my way through my very <laughs> first Ryzen build. Nice. Let's get started, yeah, and so you'll see why the answer to your question is no. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be sitting here. I'm not good at math, but we're going to add it all up. We're going to try. Uh, I also start, have a nice list here. Yeah. You do. Well, let's let's start with the CPU. You you already you already mentioned it. So CPU it's going to be Boom. Ryzen 3 1200. Okay. Uh, so it's it's not an eight core part. Our Wait, so it's not the same as an Xbox One X already already moved. Why why not go with uh, an eight core FX chip? So I was just about to get to that. So my original build part list mm -hmm. was, uh, uh, let's see, the FX8300, and that was an eight-core part. But as most people who follow PC components know, <laughs> it's not you know true eight-core performance CPU. Not say not an eight-core performance. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually getting rather moldy at this point. All right. All right. So so yeah, we got CPU. we got the CPU and uh, and cooler. Uh, let's let's go to GPU. What what, what oh, you are you gonna go pick GPU for GPU? First? Yeah. Okay, I was actually gonna talk about the motherboard. Oh, first. Yeah, okay, let's do motherboard. Just because it's going with it. So, I am going with an A320 board. It's a little guy. It's fifty dollars. Fifty. Wow. Okay. 
So that five dollar difference for the CPUs got moved over to the motherboard. Okay. Well, and what what's the step up? The step the, up. The, the, the B. Uh, the next one, the B three fifty. Yeah. The next said? step up yeah. is B three fifty. And how much how much of a price jump Ooh, is that? I didn't look, but I'm guessing it's going to be anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars. Oh, okay. Depending. Then yeah, that totally throws everything yeah. off. Yeah. You want to go to uh, RAM? What are we going to slot in this so, uh, this motherboard? Here's where we're going to try to stick. To uh, I see what you did there, stick. Ha, yeah. Ha, ha. Uh. <laughs> stick with um, the console specs, and so I'm gonna put in eight gigabytes eight of gigabytes. DDR4 RAM. Is that enough? Flexible. What's it clocked at? What are these? Uh, these Corsair Vengeance. The Corsair Vengeance. Um, this might change depending on what uh, else is being built at the time of our live build. These oh, okay. might actually go into a different one. But my plan is to go with a 2400 speed because okay. uh, it's getting it's actually pretty expensive. Um, RAM is let's see. So on the original parts build, going back to the article I was yeah. talking about, it was DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. Oh, okay, so and at, at the least time, but at the time that was fifty dollars for eight gigs. Hmm. Now it's sixty eight. Oh, and wow. and these are ninety. Oh, so there wow. is a cost difference between DDR3 and <sighs> DDR4, yeah. but... I didn't think it was going to be that big. <laughs> every, as <laughs> most people know, there's been uh, crazy prices for RAM, yeah. SSDs, and uh, GPUs. That's well, nice. specific GPUs, as we'll get to in a moment. So these are unfortunately a little expensive. So this is part of the reason why you can't really build the Xbox One X for that $500. So now GPU. Now GPU. And like you said, this is this is the tricky one. So this is a tricky one in an RX 580. Okay. Eight gigabyte buffer. Uh, the thing is, though, I need to source it. So I, I think what's probably going to happen is I have to have our video card guru, Brad, send me his because it is very difficult to get one. Well, not just um, you. <laughs> Everybody else It's getting else too. better. I was <laughs> checking Newegg today and uh -huh. there and, and, and Amazon, and there are a few for sale. Okay. So I think inventory is getting better and or Jeez. the mining craze is starting to taper off, but it's expensive. So how the much, car how much are we that I'm looking at getting is probably costing about three hundred right now, oh, and that's like what? what it's like a that's like a forty or fifty dollar oh. markup I think goes on the list. Price. Man, so that's that's half your budget right there. A little bit. <laughs> it's gonna be as close as possible to the Xbox One X's GPU, which is actually a little bit more powerful is it? than an RX 580. Yeah, it has oh, okay. more I think more shaders and a bigger uh, memory buffer, so it's like twelve gigs I think. Nice. Instead of eight. Well, here is a, a one terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive. It is nice the least slow. sexy thing you can find <laughs> when it comes to storage. But when you're replicating a console experience, that's where you're at right you now. Digital Foundry's article that came out just before E3 said article. that they had increased storage speeds by like 50% or something like that. It was mm. something very vague. Mm. And so I don't know if that means that they've either change the connection type, so maybe they've gone from SATA 2 to SATA 3, hmm. or if they like have actually put in a hybrid yeah. hard drive in there. Uh, next up, uh, Blu-ray. Yeah. So, of course, you had a drive to watch Blu-rays from, which I think is pretty cool if you want to think of it as an all-encompassing entertainment system. And so if my philosophy, or my thinking rather, is that if we're doing this build to try to mimic it, mimic it as closely as possible, okay then let's throw it in there. Uh, however, this is actually not going to match the Xbox One X because this is a standard Blu-ray drive. Oh, it's not the 4K. It is not yeah, a 4K Blu-ray drive yeah. because the current status of that when it comes to PCs uh, is a little crazy. In order to su properly support the few 4K Blu-ray drives that are out there, okay. you have to have um, a KB Lake processor, I think i5 or above, and you have to have one of like a handful of very specific motherboards that support, I think, like what is it, DRM or whatever it is, hmm. that's required. Hmm. So it drives up the cost of the build by this insane amount. It, it basically almost doubled wow. the cost. So wow. if you look at the, yeah. the final cost, the first one that uses the FX8300 and the standard Blu-ray drive and all that, it was like $650. If you look at the KB Lake version of the same build that has mm -hmm. the 4K Blu-ray drive, it was like 950, oh, almost a thousand dollars. Just to get 4K. Just to get that 4K nice. like physical disc support. Sweet. All right. 
We only got a couple things left. What, what, yeah, what's next? The uh, power supply, huh? Power supply, I don't have with me because I'm still waiting for that shipment. Yeah, it'll come. It's what would you get in? It's just going to be a 550 watt power supply. So, final piece. Final piece. Let me make some room for it. Not that it's all that fancy. And I didn't even take it out of the box yet. So, it's going to be a surprise during surprise. the build. But here's the case Thermal take. Thermal take. Um, smaller tower. I. I decided not to go for anything like cube-like or, you know, cute and small mm. to match the size of the console because it's just too darn expensive. So that, mm, nope. This one is about 40. I, don't oh, know, I paid 40, for okay. it. Sweet, and then you, you factored in uh, an Xbox, uh, a Windows license into the build as well? Uh, yes. Awesome, perfect. So <laughs> we, we're going to use Brad's trick, which is to buy a license key from Kinguin. Okay, okay. Uh, that's usually about $30 with, if you also, you know, including the $3 or whatever it is to protect yourself against people who are trying <laughs> to sell you a license key that won't work. Um, it's questionable the means I know a lot of people don't like it when we mention this trick Brad's done it a lot um, I mean our, our, our audience seems to, to think it's a really viable uh, situation so. yeah so <laughs> that's about $30 and so that's also keeping the cost of build down obviously if you went for a full retail license or even an OEM license that would be closer to anywhere from 80 to yeah. 120 so what's what's the final cost right now or you know rough, roughly you know, about 700, maybe 750. November 1st, Wednesday, November 1st at uh, 10, 10 a.m. Pacific. Pacific. We're gonna try to do a PC equivalent. Now from the audio snippet that I played, they confirm what I've been saying for a long time, such as the Xbox One X GPU being more powerful than a RX 580. Now I will link the video in the description down below and the live stream of this build will be this Wednesday. I think this demonstrates what a good value the Xbox One X truly is and I want to know what you guys think. Can the Xbox One X compete with a high-end PC? Can you build a PC for $500 that offers the same as the Xbox One X? Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.